Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like, subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips via the Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I thank you. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner in the description of this video, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Dinar community. Created by a Denarian, for Denarians, to ensure your exchange goes smoothly and for mapping out all your future financial goals and assets, including the Iraqi Dinar, Vietnamese Dong, Iranian Rattle and of course gold and silver my favorites and many more. When you decide you want to unleash the full power of the planner, they use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded version 8 mobile application added free for my subscribers for a limited time. A preview of both the mobile application and the desktop planner is made available on the website for your convenience. Go check them both out today and download your trial copy. I assure you. Once you see the planner in action, you will know why it is the number one planner in Dinarland. Lock in your copy today, the link is in the description. I am also recommending that you register as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program designed to save gold in your choice from a gram up to any amount you would like. They place each fully certified gram of gold on a credit card style placard for easy storage and send it directly to your door via FedEx. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone, one gram at a time. Are you prepared if the coronavirus takes out the markets and the world economy collapses? Is your savings protected in a tangible asset like gold? It is free to register and get yourself all set up for both pre and post exchange gold saving. Both the links to the newly upgraded currency exchange planner as well as the carrot bar gold savings program are in the description box below. Always remember, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful. First article of interest for today, Urgent Abdel Mahdi to Alawi. I will stop today from any important or strategic meeting or decision expanded. Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, Prime Minister designate Mohammed Tafiq Alawi, visited him to congratulate him on the occasion of his official assignment to form the next government, and to discuss a smooth transition of power that takes into account all constitutional and democratic conditions to support the next government and to succeed in the process of developing and implementing its ministerial platform. During the meeting, Abdul Mahdi confirmed, according to a statement of his office, that he provided full support to Alawi during the period of forming the new government in full cooperation to ensure its strong launch and to promote a peaceful exchange of power in accordance with the constitutional and democratic mechanisms including ceasing to enter into fundamental obligations internally and externally. Abdel Mahdi confirmed to Alawi that, as of today, he will stop, within the framework of his powers, for any important and strategic meeting or decision developed and not currently included in his agenda as the Prime Minister and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces for fear that these meetings or decisions will affect the policy that will soon be announced by the Prime Minister designate to leave the latter an opportunity to present his future policies and plans and prevent any conflict with them. Abdel Mahdi stressed, to complete preparations and start handing over the files to the new government team to lead them according to the vision of the Prime Minister designate and the new ministerial platform, while continuing to provide full support and assistance to enable its success. The two presidents agreed, according to the statement, to continue to the utmost degree of cooperation and consultation during the transitional period in order to ensure the continuity and smoothness of government work and to implement the decisions taken. Next article of interest, Economist, the government should deal with the Chinese agreement according to the developments of Corona. Between the economic expert, Saleh al Hamosh on Sunday, that Iraq's money in China will reach a billion dollars a month from today. 
pointing out that the coronavirus outbreak must be matched by Iraqi moves to avoid reaching Iraq through Chinese companies and take advantage of the money to build schools and projects desalination until control of the situation. Al-Hamash said in a statement to information that natural disasters, especially coronavirus, do not cancel the agreement with China, but you may postpone something until the control of this virus. He added that Iraq has accumulated funds in China that will arrive after a month from today to $1 billion, and it is possible to benefit from it if the agreement is postponed to build schools and pay attention to the health sector and establish desalination plants. And that, delaying the Chinese agreement or not is subject to the directions of the new government, as it will decide the fate of this agreement, and Iraq may resort to the European market to implement some projects. Next article of interest. A military agreement between Iraq and an international force may fill the coalition vacuum. The Iraqi army chief of staff agreed today, Sunday, with the head of the NATO mission in Iraq, General Jenny Cardinia, to expand the activity of the training and advisory mission in the coming stage. The two sides stressed during their meeting today, according to a statement of the Iraqi Ministry of Defense, the importance of working together to develop the capabilities of the Iraqi army of various kinds. The two parties discussed a number of important points, most notably the reassessment of NATO's work during the last period, and the series of intensive meetings that took place between the two sides during the previous period, which aimed to organize and resume NATO's work in Iraq. The Iraqi Army Chief of Staff confirmed, according to the statement, his eagerness to provide support and protection to the NATO team in the event that it was agreed to resume its work as an advisory training mission. Next article of interest. The head of a bloc expects the date for the formation of the government of Muhammad Alawi and confirms, he will not apologize for the assignment. The head of the Barak al air bloc, Muhammad al khaldi expected on Sunday, 2 February 2020, the date for forming a government, the Prime Minister designate, Muhammad Tafiq Alawi, indicating that the discount will take place before the deadline of one month. Alka Alidi, who had previously announced with 60 deputies their support for Alawi before his appointment to Baghdad today, that the formation of the government of the Prime Minister designate will be within three weeks or less, before the deadline set constitutionally. Noting that Alawi's apology for the assignment is to meet the demands raised by demonstrators cannot be fulfilled, because of the division that exists in the street, there are those who are supportive and there are those who are opponents, and there is no figure who is 100% satisfied with the Iraqi street. He added, this government, for the first time, gets support and support from political forces except for the leader of the state of law coalition Nuri al-Maliki and the leader of the National Coalition Iyad Alawi, noting that there are more than 60 deputies from different political blocs who support and support the Prime Minister designate Muhammad Tafiq Alawi, there is no reason for him to apologize for the assignment. On Saturday, 1 February 2020, President of the Republic Baram Saleh commissioned Muhammad Tafiq Alawi to form the interim government to succeed resigned Adel Abdul Mahdi. After that, Alawi pledged to withdraw from the post of Prime Minister, if he did not fulfill all the popular demands arising from the demonstrations. Alawi said, in a speech to him, If I cannot fulfill the demands of the Iraqi people, I will withdraw from the position of Prime Minister and this is a promise I made to the Iraqis. Next article of interest. Security stability is an urgent necessity for the survival of the region's economy. Experts and experts in the economic affairs see the necessity of achieving security stability in the region to ensure the permanence and stability of the economies of the countries of the region, including Iraq, pointing out that economic development needs a stable, stable environment while they warn of the lack of oil supplies in world markets and the event of continued escalation in the region, especially between the United States of America and the Islamic Republic of Iran. Economist Salem al bayadi said in a special statement to al Saba that there is a correlation between economic development programs and security reality, 
and no economic development or national product can be achieved without there being security, as security is the primary network that moves on in light of economic institutions, whether they are factories, trade or financial markets, and accordingly, the relationship between building an economy and security stability is logical. Domestic investment he added that all countries when they want to build their economy seek in the beginning to achieve security stability, because security by its nature means trust, that is, creating a stable environment because it allows capital to be invested, whether investing locally or foreign, and also allows the economic plan to operate not on the basis of day-to-day, but on the basis of strategic planning, because some of the economy needs plans for more than two or three years. If it does not have a stable security environment before it, it cannot be planned. He continued, if the planning is on intermittent cases, the economic planner will find that the costs and expenses are high and consequently the potential risks will rise, pointing out that the stability of the region, whether in Iraq or the region, contributes to the process of exchange and economic relations. Import goods, Al-Bayadi said, We must create a real economy in Iraq, and work in this direction and not work on the basis of spending for the purpose of importing goods. He pointed out that, a strong economy that countries can exchange confidence must have an industrial and agricultural base and a productive base and have internal capital can achieve what is called, food security and self-sufficiency. He pointed out that, the Iraqi economy will be affected because it depends on the import nutrients and the producing countries, so any halt to the export and import movement will definitely increase the prices, especially since we have an unstable market and thus the prices rise. For his part, Hamza al-Jawari, an expert in oil affairs, warned of the lack of oil supplies and high oil prices in world markets in the event of war in the Gulf region especially between the United States and Iran, but this is excluded at the present time because it is not in the interest of Tehran and Washington to outbreak war in the Gulf region, especially near the Hormuz Strait. Strategic Storage Al-Juhari said in a special statement to Al-Saba, the oil prices are controlled by the policies of the great countries, especially America, therefore, no matter how aggravating the situation for the worse or witnessing a breakthrough, but its impact melts with political interference, considering that Washington has a strategic store of oil crude and derivatives exceed 1 billion barrels. When supplies decrease, additional quantities are released in order to curb prices, and vice versa. He pointed out that, in the event of war in the Gulf region, especially near the Strait of Hormuz, oil prices will inevitably be affected but it is not in Tehran's interest to transfer the war to the Gulf because it has allies who buy its oil and they are China, Japan and India and does not want to lose them. Training Courses On the companies operating in Iraq, Al-Juhri said, the production and export of Iraqi oil will not be affected if foreign companies operating in the oil fields leave because Iraq has about 70 to 95 percent of the workers in the oil fields are Iraqis, in addition to the fact that the last 10 years have seen the integration of Iraqis into work with foreigners and their qualification, in addition to the training courses they received, as well as their acquaintance with the new work systems, in the sense that the local staff are efficient and can manage the oil fields, because in the previous period Shell exited and Iraqi production was not affected and also exited ExxonMobil three times and the fields were not affected oil. Now before we read the next article, I want you to take notice of what it is saying, and even though it's on the other side of the world, it does affect all of the world markets and the new deals between China and Iraq, as well as the United States. For those of you that do not know markets well, if the China markets fall, it could cause a domino effect as the markets open across the world. Let's get started. China's central bank will try to avert crash when markets open Monday. China's central bank announced plans Sunday to inject 1.2 trillion yuan, $173 billion, into the economy to cushion the shock to financial markets from the outbreak of a new virus when trading resumes on Monday after a prolonged Lunar New Year holiday. The People's Bank of China announced several measures over the weekend aimed at stabilizing the economy as the impact of the virus spreads with cancelled flights, 
stepped up quarantines and other controls. Beijing extended the usual week-long holiday by three days but markets are due to reopen Monday and many expect they will drop sharply. Elsewhere in the region, worries over the potential harm to businesses and trade from the outbreak have triggered wide swings in share prices. On Friday, jitters over the virus caused share prices to plunge. The central bank statement issued Sunday said the open market operation was aimed at ensuring sufficient liquidity. In a separate statement Saturday, the PBOC said that while markets would reopen, financial institutions should follow local quarantine regulations and try to minimize gatherings to reduce risks of spreading the virus, which has infected more than 14,000 people and killed more than 300. That includes allowing rotating shifts, working online from home and other strategies, it said. Regulators have also urged banks and other financial institutions to boost lending and avoid calling in debts in areas severely affected by the pandemic. Some cities, particularly the central Chinese city Wuhan where the disease first surfaced, and nearby cities, are still in lockdown. Shanghai authorities extended the Lunar New Year holiday until February 9. Universities remain closed for now. Mainland China's main share benchmark. The Shanghai Composite Index sank 2.8% to 2,976.53 on January 23, its last day of trading before the Lunar New Year. Chinese authorities have massive resources for intervening to staunch panic selling of shares and have deployed them in past times of crisis. A large share of the 1.2 trillion want to be injected into markets will go to meeting payment obligations falling due on Monday analyst said. But it's still a massive amount of funding. This is well beyond the band-aid fix, and if this deluge doesn't hold risk off at bay, we are in for a colossal beatdown, Stephen Innes of Corp. said in a client note Sunday. He noted that any major drop shortly after the markets reopen would be a catch-up. It's not the earthquake at the open but rather the aftershocks that will drive risk sentiment on Monday, he said. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. This package will only be available for a limited time, so go for it, pick up yours today. With the currency exchange planner on your team, the banks don't have a chance of taking advantage of your newfound wealth. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always turn gold back into any kind of fiat money you want or need later. The gold will always be in your possession not the banks who do not care about your well-being. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar I assure you will not. Did you know that the dollar only has 0.0389 cents purchasing power left when compared to its original purchasing power when the dollar first came out? Fiat currencies are based on debt and are designed to fail over time. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, over and out, the Denarian.